Find the area of a square with side 6x minus 5y. So let me draw our square. And all of the sides of a square are going to have the same length. And they're telling us that the length for each of the sides, which is the same for all of them, is 6x minus 5y. So the height would be 6x minus 5y, and so would the width, 6x minus 5y. And if we wanted to find the area of the square, we just have to multiply the width times the height. So the area for this square is just going to be the width, which is 6x minus 5y times the height, times the height, which is also 6x minus 5y. So we just have to multiply these two binomials. And to do this, you could either do FOIL if you like memorizing things, or you could just remember this is just applying the distributive property twice. So what we could do is distribute this entire magenta 6x minus 5y times each of distributed over each of these terms in the yellow 6x minus 5y. And if we do that, we will get this 6x, this 6x times this entire 6x minus 5y. So 6x minus 5y. And then we have minus 5y, minus 5y times once again the entire magenta 6x minus 5y. And what does this give us? So we have we have 6x times 6x. So the, this, when I distribute it just this, I'm now doing the distributive property for the second time. 6x times 6x is 36x squared. And then when I take 6x, and then when I take 6x times negative 5y, I get 6 times negative 5 is negative 30. And then I have an x times a y, negative 30 x y. And then I want to take, and then I want to take, I'm trying to introduce many colors here. So I have this negative 5y times this 6x right over here. So negative 5 times 6 is negative 30, negative 30, and I have a y and an x, or an x and a y. And then finally, I have my last distribution to do. Let me do that maybe in white. I have 5y times, well actually have a negative 5y times another negative 5y. So the negative times the negative is a positive. So it is positive. 5 times 5 is 25. y times y is y squared. And then we are almost, we are almost done right over here. We could say we can just add these two terms in the middle right over here. Negative 30xy minus 30xy is going to be negative 60xy. So you get 36x squared minus 60xy plus 25y squared. Now, there is a faster way to do this. If you recognize, if you recognize that if I'm squaring a binomial, which is essentially what we're doing here, this is the exact same thing as 6x minus 5y squared. So you might recognize the pattern. If I have a plus b squared, this is the same thing as a plus b times a plus b. And if you were to multiply it out this exact same way we just did it here, the pattern here is it's a times a, which is a squared, plus a times b, plus a b, plus b times a, which is also a b, if you just switch the order, plus b squared, plus b squared. So this is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. This is kind of the fast way to look. If you're squaring any binomial, it'll be a plus b squared will be a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. And if you knew this ahead of time, then you could have just applied that to this to the squaring of the binomial right up here. So we, let's do it that way as well. So if we have 6x, 6x minus 5y squared, we could just say, well, this is going to be a squared. It's going to be a squared, which in this case is 6x squared plus 2ab. So that's plus 2 times a, which is 6x, times b, which is negative 5y, negative 5y, plus b squared, which is plus negative 5y everything squared. And then this will simplify to 6x squared is 36x squared plus Actually, there's going to be a negative here, because it's going to be 2 times 6 is 12, times negative 5 is negative 60. We have x and a y, x and a y. And then negative 5y squared is positive 
y squared. So hopefully you saw multiple ways to do this. If you saw this pattern immediately, and if you knew this pattern immediately, you could just cut to the chase and go straight here. You wouldn't have to do the distributive property twice, although this will never be wrong.